Um, oh. oh, wow. Uh, Croyd? <laughs> Not within the last six months. Can't remember. Well, that was so long ago. Maybe years. About ten years ago. Just a long time ago. Probably uh, a long, long time ago. You don't really want to show it, even if you're feeling vulnerable, so you yeah. just kind of keep it to yourself. It was almost as if there's an invisible watcher, you feel as if you shouldn't. As a guy, you want to stand up, you want to be brave and have courage. You know, try and be manly. So I suppose you probably block those emotions out yeah. and don't let them manifest. There's always this idea that you need to be strong and not necessarily be too effusive with your emotions. As guys, you don't go to other guys and do this. I mean, it just, it isn't natural to do so. You can do it to your girlfriend, you can do it to your mother. And yeah. when you're young, you go to your mother, you don't go to your father. Last time I actually cried was when my mother told me that she still loved me. If you're talking to someone who suffered over 30 years of depression, you can turn it around by being in touch with yourself. For the most part, we're getting a little bit better, but we need to get even better at getting in touch with our emotions, because usually it just goes straight to anger. It's like the culture, the, the atmosphere of the society would expect you to be tougher and stronger than women, so you might find it hard to release your feelings. 